All right, folks, it is Thursday, May 24th. Uh, I believe it's roughly about 2.30 p.m. And uh, I figured this is a good time to take a little break and shoot a little video for you. I haven't gotten a whole lot done today. It's a reason for it. Last night, um, <clears throat> here's the manure spreader. Pay no attention to that clump. I'm actually a good operator. I just had it a little too high up and I'm going across the highway on some main roads. Last thing you want to do is spill any manure on the roads and get people in a ruckus. <clears throat> so anyway, last night was as far as this spreader could go without that TLC I was talking about that I was hoping would wait until this manure project was over. Guess what? Big shame on me. And I hope a lot of you are paying attention and learn your lesson for my screw up. Um, the runners, <clears throat> these slats, there are uh, there's some of them that were so bad. Um, at the end of my evening, two of them were completely broke. And there was two of them that were a load or two away from breaking. One of the things that those those runners, I'm calling them runners, you can call them slats, the apron chain, whatever you want. They start bowing in the middle up. Well, guess what? They go up just a little too far. Guess what happens? Especially if you're hauling, um, you know, what I'm going to call, I'm going to call this pasture manure. Guess what? I don't care who you are or what you have, you're going to get a stone or two in the pile which is fine if it gets under that chain and it lifts that um uh, that runner up enough it's it's a, a disaster so long story short i started my morning out this morning after a little bit of feeding i headed to wisconsin i had to go to pound wisconsin to a reister and schnell john deere dealer they had these on hand we actually ordered them last week but we didn't have them ship them to us because we tried to save a few bucks rather than them they take a, a trip up here every other week to uh, the local feed mill and do drop-offs well we can't wait so I had to take a run there this morning it was actually a beautiful run got to see a lot of farming people are really uh, really going crazy right now in that neck of the woods and uh, yeah you are only seeing one runner right now there are three more brand new ones that you cannot see that are underneath there's actually more bad ones. Well, so, so bad ones. Doesn't matter. I ordered another four today at the uh, dealership, and those are going to be here by Wednesday or Thursday of next week, along with some other parts. So, good times, huh? It's all right. Things are still going okay. Just lost a half a day, which, what are you going to do? Folks, I am going to give you a video this evening that I'm really looking forward to doing. I've always wanted to kind of give you a tour of our grazing pasture setup, which, you know, is I think is just phenomenal for our setup. Well, guess what? This morning, we found it suitable to open up the pasture land. Obviously, you can see they started grazing. It's a pretty nice sight, too. They also did get some corn, some corn silage this morning because there's a lot of them that are not going to head out there right away, especially some of the heifers. Uh, you can see those three down there. And these Holstein, uh, well, there's four or five down there. And then these Holstein steers. They're not used to it. They've never been down there. The cows, they knew what was going on. Um, they knew exactly what was happening. We didn't know more than open up the fence and they were down there and just loving life. They knew what was happening. These other ones that don't, or the younger ones, they're going to be skittish for, uh, for a couple few days. So therefore, the uh, silage wagon was filled up for them and a uh, new bale of, um, new round bale of hay. So stay tuned to that this evening. I'm going to hop on the Ranger and we're going to do a nice little tour of the grazing system. We got a little bit of a sprinkle of rain today. And I'm talking a sprinkle. Um, let me 
take a look at this. Yep, shouldn't have done that. It's bad here. It is dry, really dry. We do have rain scheduled for uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday though. And even if we just get a quarter or half of what they're saying that we're, that we're supposed to get, awesome. We need it really bad. Uh, another nice thing is, another video I'm going to take this weekend is um, uh, the oats are up. It's, it's really nice to see. Very, very, uh, very small. But it's, it's nice to see a light green field start to uh, kind of glimmer, if that made any sense at all. So yeah, I'm going to do a video on some of the growth of the oats and the barley as well. And once we get that rain, oh my God, are things just going to just sprout. A very nice dent was put in all this manure um, the three days I was gone by dad. And then I put another fair dent in it last night. I got a long ways to go. Um, <coughs> This will not be finished for what I'm going to call spring cleaning. There's not time. Um, that field, our cornfield already started to be plowed. It's, it's time to go. It's time to get the corn in. So anyway, I am going to be able to cover the rest of the field um, today and then even tomorrow while plowing is taking place as well. But um, all this manure will not disappear. We're going to have to save it for the fall, which you know what? It's not such a bad ordeal. So, yeah. That's about it, folks. Uh, the only other thing I got to show you is these are the new tires on the 6420. I wish I could have showed it to you nice and clean, but here they are. These are the Midas. Midas brand. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I am very, very happy with them. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna claim the fame to being some tire guy. I'm not, but I'm, I'm here to tell you right now. I'm very happy with them. And you want to talk about such a better ride in this tractor? Oh my God! I needed to put these on last year. I didn't. I got away with it. Knock on wood. But um, yeah, here they are. What are you going to do? Costs a lot of money to be as cool. <laughs> it's my humor for the day. Folks, I got to go. Uh, talk to you sooner or later and uh, pay attention to that video that I'm going to make on the pasture land coming up quick. Have a good day.